Hello everyone, this is Sam from Prison Scroll with our first video to teach you how to import things into a, the app. So this is going to be pretty important now that we're converted over to the OGL, so that's limiting a lot of our information, but now we're going to be able to share everything. So I'm going to give you a couple options on what you can do. So you have a couple options. So some of those include email, you either have the mail app or Gmail app, you got file sharing apps like Google Drive or Dropbox, and then there's also file sharing links. Those also work as well. And then things like Discord is another option, or you can just have somebody airdrop you the file itself. So what you're looking for is .prism extension files. So those you get from exporting items from the app. So then it will create a file that has that extension. So let's go through a couple options that are available. So we'll start with the mail app. Basically what you do is you get a file, let's say your friend emails you, you know, a character or you email yourself. Basically you're going to have something like this and the file is going to be right there. All you have to do is click the file, scroll over to the right, and then you're going to see copy to prism. And then all you have to do is press that and then you're done. All you have to do is press yes and then it will import it into the sheet. So that's your first option, just the standard mail app. You can also use Gmail. It's basically the same thing. All you're trying to do is to get to that document controller and then scroll over to copy to the app. So basically you just press the file and then up in the top right you have the share icon and then it will bring up that same window that you're familiar with and then scroll over, copy to Prism. That easy. All right. Last one is a file sharing app. You got Drive. So basically you're going to have the file in uh, right there and then you'll just press the ellipse on the right which brings up the options and you're going to want to press open in and then like I said it's going to bring up the same thing hopefully and copy to Prism. And there you go. You just press yes and there's your character. So it's that easy, you know, you're going to be able to import either, you know, anything that people create or a batch of things that people create. So hopefully this helps in this transition time. So I hope to do a couple more videos like this where they're just short and they kind of help us learn how to use the app the best and know about all the features. So bye bye for now.